Hey yo, welcome back to Cloudy TV and if you're new, welcome to Cloudyville. Hit the like button and all that if you enjoy your stay, you know what I'm saying? Today we got a video by the brightest side called What the First Man on the Moon Hid for All These Years. Ooh wee, this is gonna be something different I think. Neil Armstrong had been getting ready for his mission on the moon for over three years. To resist microgravity conditions, he had to learn how to walk sideways by being strapped and suspended at an Every angle and trying right to into walk it. along I walls. Lie to you. His limits were tested through an intense diet and sleep yes, regimen. The is Since back, in you know space, he would only have beef and vegetables, previously dehydrated and stuffed into a only package. Only if he ate in the Back in the day, hey, you see all the sleep look. regimen. Since in space, he would only have beef and vegetables, previously uh. dehydrated and stuffed. Bro, if any one of y'all in the comments know or ever had space food before, because I, I think they sell it like on Amazon and stuff like that, like just for fun or so people could, you know. And um, yeah, if y'all ever had it before, you feel me? Let me know in the comments below, what does this taste like? You know, because they could they even cook it or is it cooked already? I guess we'll see. Into a package. Back in the day, astronauts had to experience the desert, jungle, open sea, and Arctic survival training. These days, it's a lot more structured. But back then, it was more of a let's drop this person in the middle of nowhere with no supplies and see if they make it. Before Damn. landing on the moon, he had to gather and study rock <coughs> samples in the Grand Canyon, explore <coughs> ancient volcano formations in the Nevada National Security Site, and look into gas and lava vents, lava lakes, <coughs> and pit craters in various locations. <coughs> My bad, y'all. <coughs> I didn't want to cough over the words, you feel me? Locations in Hawaii. On July 20th, 1969, Armstrong was given a hearty breakfast before blast off. Steak, eggs, toast, juice, and coffee. And that's what you and my brother call Denny's. Low residue meal which means he wouldn't have to go to the bathroom soon after. It took him 109 oh, hours and 42 juice, minutes. I thought orange juice make you go to the restroom. Cause I know I heard apple juice make you gotta go. You know what I'm saying? You drink too much apple juice, but I thought orange juice do the same thing. That's crazy. To reach the surface of the moon in an area called time. the Sea of Tranquility. He had That's to travel 240,000 miles to get there. The crew could have gone for the Ocean of Storms or the Central Bay, but this place was chosen for landing because it had good visibility, was relatively smooth, and was easily reachable with as little propellant as possible. When he was at about five... I don't believe that. I believe they decided to go here because they was trying to beat somebody. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say too much because I don't want... You know, I ain't gonna say too much. But I, I think we went to the moon because we wanted to be first. You know what I'm saying? I think this is the first, I guess, planet, you know what I'm saying, that uh, we just all decided to try to go to. Like, like we try to go to the, to the moon, Russia, I'm pretty sure China. I'm pretty sure everybody tried to get to the moon, you know what I'm saying, get their own information and, and everything. So we all stay woke on, on what's out there, you know what I'm saying? Let's be real. It's not even no, like war thing and nothing like that it's just we all need our own info we don't need nobody else telling us this is what it is over there we might as well just go over there ourselves and figure out what we figure out and if they don't know what we know then that's hey that's on them you know what i'm saying but it's it's smart because when you think about it like you got to get your own information you know what i'm saying it's kind of hard just trusting somebody else when they tell you oh such and such happened you know what i'm saying it's like you rather see it with your own eyes you feel me so that's what I think really happened. 500 feet above the surface of the moon, Armstrong had to maneuver the spacecraft manually to make but, sure hey, they wouldn't for, land in a dangerous crater. For Armstrong he continued being to the hover for about a minute here, and a half, man. moving it sideways until he felt comfortable to land. As soon as his device landed safely, he immediately radioed to Mission Control, located in Houston, Texas. The now famous message, The Eagle has landed. Steadily, he went down the lunar module's ladder. While a television camera was attached to the craft to record his progress, the camera also transmitted the signal back to Earth. 
where hundreds of millions of people were anxiously waiting at precisely 10 oh, p.m. EDT. Wait, so every, I, I heard it was on TV, but I never really believed it because I was just like, why would they put something like this on national TV? You know what I'm saying? To where even civilians can see, which means if they saw something crazy on camera, you know what I'm saying? Because if they send this live TV, if something flew across the camera, we all would have been tripping. We all would have been down here tripping. We would have been like, yeah, it's aliens. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I didn't believe it. But I guess they actually did. Uh, on the same day, Armstrong placed his feet on onto camera. the lunar soil, saying, That's one small step for man, one the famous quote, man. For the schedule said that the astronaut needed to sleep before the first moonwalk, but he chose to go outside earlier than planned, since he obviously couldn't sleep. If Armstrong had walked on the moon without special equipment to breathe, he would have smelled a weird odor, sort of musty and sulfuric. Still, he had the chance to smell it when he returned to the lunar module. The thing is, the dirt had clung to his feet, so the odor spread all over the cabin. Oh, man. He described it as wet fireplace <laughs> ashes, or how the air smells after firework shows. Who would have thought you needed to pack a scented candle when going to the moon? They packed Apart a scented candle? from the people candle? that have since made it they to the moon, back then? no one ever got the chance to know precisely what the crew was smelling. Even during that first mission, when moon soil and rock samples were transported to labs in airtight containers, once they were opened back on Earth, surprisingly, the smell was gone. He also felt the surface of the moon to be fine and powdery, but said he had no difficulty in moving around. One other member of his crew joined him about 20 minutes later. The whole moonwalk took a little over two hours. Hold during on. This time I got a question, y'all. So basically it okay are they saying like because this is what i'm thinking if they saying it's easy to walk on a different planet with different gravity you know what i'm saying do our bodies just adjust because if that's the case our body could really do a lot of things if they saying it's easy to walk and move around and stuff like that is it because of the suits or is it because our body is just good at adjust uh it it knows how to adapt to environments we just don't know that because we haven't went outside of the environments we experience like like you gotta think about it the way when it rains you feel me our bodies act a certain way to try to keep us as as warm as possible you know what i'm saying it, it, it changes itself you feel me even even like it lets us know it's too cold outside by when we get up and we start walking around outside our feet start hurting you know what I'm saying? Like certain little things like that. Like our body, our body does things to help keep us to survive in a cold winter. You know what I'm saying? Just like in the sun, our body sweats and all that stuff trying to cool us off. That's why we sweat because our body is trying to get rid. I think, I think I'm not completely sure. I got to watch another bright side video to see if they got one like that. So we know, but for what I think, you know what I'm saying? Our body sweats and stuff to keep us try to try to cool us off you know what i'm saying like our body adapts so what if our body adapts so well that even when we go to a different planet you know what i'm saying hold on even when we go to a different planet our body adjusts so we can feel the exact same way as we did on our own planet like you know what i'm saying i'm armstrong and his teammates set up various devices on the surface of our satellite. i hope y'all understand what i'm saying one was meant to precisely measure the exact distance from there to earth by timing how long it took for a laser beam to travel from earth to the lunar surface and back another meant to measure moonquakes and potential meteor impacts which leads us to the discovery that the moon was pretty alive after all we know today that the largest moonquakes are much weaker than the largest earthquakes, moon. though their movements can last for up to Damn. an hour, way I'm longer so than on Earth. We don't experience crazy they earthquakes. managed I'm to not gather somewhere this. around 50 okay. pounds of rock in soil samples. They also snapped many photographs of the terrain, where they also planted a U.S. flag. The astronaut even got the chance to catch up with President Richard Nixon for less than a minute, though. The final thing on the list for Armstrong I know this was is to go like for the, a walk to what is man, now known. I think this is probably the biggest achievement we've ever 
you know, how, like as a as United State, you know what I'm saying? This is probably the biggest, the biggest thing that ever happened to us, bro. You got the president calling, and you got to think about it for Neil Armstrong. He must have been the man when he got back home. I mean, what, like females back to back, or men, if you know that's what he was into. You feel me? But you know what I'm saying? He he had it when he when he went back. He was the man. You know what I'm saying? Bro, 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 could walk around like, bro, I stepped on the moon. You ain't did nothing in your life. You know what I'm saying? Like he had the right to. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being honest with you, cause being an astronaut has to be really scary for one, and the fact that we went on a different planet that's that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? When you think about it, it's crazy. It's kind of crazy. As East Crater, 65 yards east of the lunar module, it was the greatest distance traveled from the spacecraft on that specific mission, approximately the length of half a football field. As soon as his tasks were done. Armstrong went back into the lunar module and safely closed the hatch to get some sleep. While preparing for liftoff, Armstrong and his crew discovered that, because of their chunky spacesuits, they managed to break the ignition switch for the ascent engine. No big deal, they what thought. The heck just happened? So they used a part of a pen to push in the circuit breaker to start the launch sequence. At 1.54 p.m., the famous Eagle began to ascend. Bro. And when you think about it, they had to be real, like some of the like the smartest people in the world, cause they gotta know what to do when 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 shit hit the fan. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm keeping it real. They gotta know what to do, bro, cause bro, just to me, you in space, bro. You don't know this place at all. None of us know this place like that. You feel me? And as far as we as far as we know, there's some out there. You know, and just bro. When when them ships break apart or there's a malfunction, bro, you're going to be stuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't going to have no food, bro. You ain't going to be able to get out. Like, bro, it's, it's, it's way too much. You know what I'm saying? So you got to think about it in that way, too. You feel me? Because, yeah, these, these they came home and they was the man, you know? Apart from the scientific came equipment home and installed the on the surface of the moon, a plaque was also left there. It read, here, men from the planet Earth first set foot upon the moon, but July 1969 AD. This is crazy. We came in peace for all mankind. That's, that's a big milestone right there. Years later, Armstrong said that NASA limited their time on the moon because they didn't know how the spacesuits would handle the moon's extreme temperatures. As high as 260 degrees Fahrenheit during the is day. Is that hot? to as low cold? as 280 degrees Fahrenheit below zero at night. Things got a bit more complicated when Armstrong landed back on Earth. Since he had been exposed to unknown space particles, the result? He and his team had to be placed in planetary protection quarantine on their return. As soon as their space capsule safely splashed down in the Pacific Ocean on July 24th. That specific quarantine for the Apollo 11 astronauts is one of the reasons why we have microwaves in our kitchens today. When they first returned from the moon, they hey, initially Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Them. Hey, shout out to LSK, man, the microwave, the microwave demon, bro. That's why I'm gonna call you. I ain't gonna call you kid because sometimes cooking certain stuff in the microwave is 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 crazy. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to you, bro, because you I I be watching y'all too high videos and you be making it work, bro. But also shout out to these dudes because microwaves really do save us and all y'all cannot lie them cup of noodles if you in a, if you ever was in a struggle be hidden you know what i'm saying be hidden different the cup of noodles i mean also the ones you put on the stove but the cup of man come on now first few come days in a mobile quarantine facility or mqf good looking out sure, to all these the astronauts MQF featured right here. comfortable chairs bunks a toilet and showers but it didn't leave a lot of space for fancy cooking since there was no room for a standard oven or grill and to also reduce the potential fires that might have occurred. NASA had to get creative. And shout That's out NASA, the original shout countertop out NASA. microwave oven was developed to easily help astronauts get their meals without the hustle of a fully equipped kitchen. These days, you can no, see no, that no, no. Okay, look, in bro. a museum nah. in Oakland, California. We, we got to shout them out the correct way. Give me, like, 
five seconds y'all okay all right y'all i found them shout out to percy spencer and robert in hall you know what i'm saying y'all the goats for making a microwave you feel me because y'all saved lives with that one not even gonna lie i'll right, be back y'all without the hustle of a fully equipped kitchen these days you can see that first microwave in a museum in oakland california after returning to earth armstrong claimed he would never reach for the stars again but he didn't stop he exploring probably saw some. Back in 1985, he joined a professional team of other greatest explorers to the North Pole. That's dope. He was that joined by fun. mountaineer Edmund Hillary, aviator Steve Fawcett, and photographer Man. Patrick Moore. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Neil Armstrong probably had a, the funnest life. Is he still alive? I don't know if he's... He must have had the funnest... He must have had fun living. You know what I'm saying? This dude went to space. He probably saw some up there and got scared. That's probably why he don't want to go back up there. But now this dude was just going, trying to go to the North Pole. He getting paid to just travel and have fun. Like, bro, that's crazy, man. I'll be down to do something like this because science is fun when you really think about it. when you get into the projects. It's fun. It's scared of the stuff you discover, but it's fun at the same time, you know? I want to go to a science museum. That's all I want to go. Armstrong claimed he wanted to know see what the icy comments, pole please. looked like from the ground, since he had only seen it from the surface of the moon. The Apollo 11 mission was nevertheless unforgettable for Armstrong since. In 2015, the Smithsonian Institution uncovered that he had kept hidden a cloth bag full of small parts from the lunar module. It included his... Hey, I'm going to say this right now because I don't know if all y'all going to make it to the end of the video, but... In the next like two or three videos, I'm gonna be I might be changing my YouTube name to Cloudy's View. You know what I'm saying? Cause I look he like that. You feel me? Like cause I'm giving y'all my point of view how I feel about it. I like it. It's a little different. It's I'm still reacting, but at the same time, it's it's a different type of name. You know what I'm saying? If y'all rock with it, you know, let me know. If y'all don't, let me know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, in the next two, three videos, I might depending on what y'all i'm gonna put a poll on my instagram you know what i'm saying go follow my instagram you feel me i'm gonna put a poll on it uh probably like you know a day after this video or whatever i'm gonna put a uh, i'm gonna post a poll on it and y'all let me know if y'all think it's pretty hard you feel me or if i should keep the name i have now you feel me but yeah let me know you feel me waste tether some utility lights in their brackets an emergency wrench in the optical site that was mounted above Armstrong's window of the space module. It also contained the data acquisition camera that recorded the iconic footage of Armstrong. Man, I wish we had better cameras back then. On the moon. We had potatoes, bro. Armstrong kept it to himself for many years until his widow, Carol, eventually found it. He even kept it a secret from his official biographer who at many times asked if he had kept any memorabilia from his famous mission. He, he saw didn't sneak some, those man. objects back on Earth, though. He just mentioned it to be a bunch of trash he wanted to bring back. That's it. I think bro saw some. What y'all love? Uh, what y'all think? I think bro saw some. That's, that's what I think. But man, if y'all enjoyed the videos from the brightest side, you know what I'm saying? Leave a like, you know? subscribe to your boy and hit the noti bell please hit the noti bell because i'm gonna be dropping more videos during the week like y'all saw how i did last week you know what i'm saying i put like two a day like i want y'all to know when i drop videos y'all come and see me you feel me because i'm react to a lot of videos you know what i'm saying i'm, I'm gonna bring y'all a lot of videos you feel me so i just i just want y'all to stay ahead it's gonna be like three videos a week you know what i'm saying it's gonna be like two videos one day and then the next day I'm gonna post one video and then the next day I'm I'm not gonna post video and then the next day after that I'm gonna try to post like two videos and if I can't post two I'm gonna post like one long video you know what I'm saying like that's how I'm gonna do it you feel me I'm letting y'all know so y'all know my schedule a little bit I'm gonna try to give y'all that schedule as, as much as I can you know what I'm saying because I'll be working I work a lot too you know but I'm gonna try my best you feel me but uh, yeah man your boy is out I'll see y'all in the next one Bye-bye.